What's going on everyone, Manny here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the climbing gym. In today's episode I want to take a look at a really effective stretching routine for increasing the flexibility of especially the leg department. And I did a, another episode showing some of my stretching methods quite some time ago. I think it was called my warm up and stretching routine or something like that and I think I will link it in this info card here on the right top. But anyway, this episode is going to be especially about the legs and it will focus on the legs and the reason for that is that in my opinion the legs are the most important body part when it comes to flexibility for climbing since stretched legs will allow you to step footholds quickly and accurately and you will be able to reach stuff which would otherwise, otherwise be unreachable. Just think of a very high heel hook for example or dihedrals when you almost have to do the splits to reach the footholds. So that's why I usually stretch my legs even before climbing and that's the only body part I actually stretch before I start to climb. Other than that I only do some mobilizing in the upper body and stuff. So as you've seen before I rotated my, rotated my hips like that and this is kind of the mobilizing thing I do for the hips before I get into the really um, attacking stuff because the hips are going to be under heavy attack this um, stretching routine as you will see. So as you can see here um, simply double shoulder width, keep some straight legs, let the weight of your highly trained upper body and forearms pull you down. And here we've got the next um, exercise. By the way, I don't know how they are really called, I just will describe them. Maybe you know how they are, how they are called, if that's the case, post it in the comments down below. So here, this is kind of a preparer for the split, as you can see. Um, as you should have one leg straight and one leg bent and it's also very important to have both uh, the surface of your feet um, on the ground actually fully on the ground so here it's not completely on the ground on my right leg but yeah it's not, not a big deal use your elbow to push your bent knee outwards so and always don't forget to shake out your legs keep that um, blood flow going so that you don't injure yourself and keep that blood flow to the tendons going and stuff so here we've got another exercise which prepares a little bit for the lady split actually, it, it's called. Um, this one again, one leg straight forward, the other one bent and kind of attached to the thigh of the straight leg. And simply grab the straight leg and pull your upper body towards the foot of the straight leg. And pay attention that your knee stays straight and you can use the other hand to support your knee here. And the pain, how should the stretching pain feel? Well, it should be kind of a, in a huge area of your muscle. It should not be in a small area of your muscle, like kind of a stinging, sudden, um, strong pain. It should rather be a, a very homogeneous, big surface, big area pain. And here another exercise for stretching the glutes actually really effective looks a bit complicated but it's actually quite simple one leg bent at the floor on the floor and the other one stepping across of the knee, stepping across the knee and then simply take this leg and uh, with your elbow and uh, rotate your upper body in the other direction and look backwards and this will give you a really nice stretching stimulus in your glutes and again when you're finished shake out your legs get some dancing in there nice so here's another quite effective exercise, big step forward and really let again your the weight of your body, the weight of your upper body, let, uh, let the weight of your upper body pull you down, pull you into the stretching position, hold the balance which can be a quite of a challenge in this position actually and hold any stretching position for roughly 15 or 20 seconds maybe. 20 seconds at most, 15 is the standard I would say. And also try to avoid any bumping up and down, especially if you're a beginner. Try to keep up a constant stretching stimulus so that you don't get any spikes in your uh, muscles because this is of course, especially if you're a beginner, um, dangerous for when it comes to injury. So here's another variant of this um, exercise. Again, big step forward and lean forward with your upper body until um, you are able to grab with one hand below your leg actually, and take your, grab your foot and pull that upper body down even more. And this is of course focusing on the leg which is in the front. 
Don't forget to switch sides. Most of these exercises are asymmetric, so you will have to switch sides. Here again, big step forward until you are able to grab um, uh, below your actual leg, grab the foot, grab the heel, and pull your face down. And this is here yeah, again, as I said, merely focusing on the on the front leg. The variant from before was actually attacking both legs. So now it's time to take a look at the more advanced exercises, I would say. Here we have the normal split. Um, as you can see, yeah, I'm using this big mattress here as kind of a resistance to, to be able to push myself into the position better. And as you can see, I'm sitting myself slowly down, using the heels of the feet to um, kind of pull my legs uh, away from each other even more and sitting down slowly more and more not a lot of bumping up and down maybe a little bit here and there and here in the side view you can actually take a look at how I will sit down really and I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate here that you should not do a round back like this try to really straighten up your back like that so that you can really um, get the right stretching stimulus into the back thighs and yeah really effective exercise what can i say um, sit down slowly and then take your resistance and um, readjust the position even more then you can use of course again the weight of your properly super trained forearms of course because you're a climber to really pull yourself down pull yourself forward and get even more stretching stimulus into your legs I mean, I'm quite aware that this is quite a, an advanced uh, stage of flexibility already. If you're quite a beginner, you don't need um, to go to the limit like th this much, okay? Just go to the pain border and when it starts to hurt, hold this stimulus for 15-20 um, seconds. Keep a constant uh, stimulus in a big area of the muscles, no, um, no stinging pain in a small area, stuff like that. And you will progress, it's practice makes perfect. So again, pull yourself out of the position. This is another thing that, another tip here, do not use the stretched muscle to pull yourself out of the position. Always use your arms or something like that, okay? Because this, the just stretched muscle is quite weak and if you um, try to contract it, this can lead to injury. So now we actually want to go into the lady splits. I think at least that it's called like that. Tell me in the comments down below if you know any better one leg to the front straight the other leg to the back ideally straight as well but as you can see i'm not flexible enough to perform this properly and you want to use some kind of assistance like i use the strap of this ring here to um, kind of regulate how much weight pulls downwards okay because this can be really inconvenient if all of a sudden all your weight pulls you down and you get a super high spike of um, flexibility of, of stretching stimulus so to say so here the other side again one leg to the front one leg in the back and really um yeah sit yourself down can't find the strap here <laughs> nice so yeah enjoy the pain enjoy the pain stay calm breathe don't forget to breathe and really let that uh, stretching stimulus sink in and as you can see actually it should look like my upper body should be um, 90 degrees to my legs actually in this position at my shoulder um, height it almost works but then when you take a look at my belly it's kind of like um, twisted okay so you want actually your hips in this position to be 90 degrees of your legs but of course I'm not I'm still not flexible enough to execute this properly I have to say and again use your arm as assistance to get back into a normal position because um, if you just stand up with your legs alone you will get a really high um, all of a sudden stimulus and this is really dangerous when it comes to injury so now actually a tip from me again if you're done with your first round of advanced exercises make three four minutes rest and simply do them again because when you do them for a second time you will instantly notice quite a big improvement in, in flexibility already and this will allow you to get even into a little bit deeper areas of your flexibility you know of a stretch of your muscles 
So as you can see, I had a lot easier time to perform the splits on the second attempt and I could even almost reach my feet. So that's actually what you wanna, what you wanna train as well, be able to grab your feet in these positions. And again, the lady split one more time. And this time, not so much improvement in flexibility as in the normal splits, but um, yeah, I still wanted to do it a second time because I, I always have the feeling that I can get a more proper stimulus out of the exercise when I do them a second time. Again, switch sides. Don't forget to use some kind of assistance to um, regulate the weight which is pressing down your hips. And here, as you can see, I'm using this bumping up and down method to kind of push myself, my body, into an even more stretched out position. And I know that some people will tell me in the comments, man, you shouldn't do that, that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah of course, if you're a beginner, don't do it. But if you're already quite flexible, you will notice that you can use this technique, so to say, this bumping up and down to actually get yourself into the proper stretching position. Because you know you have to quite um, you, you have to overcome some distance, so to say, until you reach this position. And these bumping up and downs will help you to push um, yourself even more. So that's basically it for the stretching routine. As you can see, once you're done with it, you're gonna feel super lightweight. You have your full range of motion in your legs, perfectly prepared for some awesome climbing. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've got something from it. If you did, please drop some likes, opinions and experiences in the comment section. And until then, don't forget to stretch your stuff. It's really useful. Keep crushing, keep training hard, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.